right, if you're interested in advertising on our YouTube community page right now, email advertise at hiphopun.com. I extended the sale for one more day. So you got one more day. Email us tonight, right now, or whenever you see this, and I'll be sure to honor it. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Let's get it. All right, man, just when I thought I seen it all, there's something always new that comes to my attention. Now, if you guys can remember, man, the other day we reported here on Hip Hop News Uncensored that the man that's being accused of murdering young Dolph, Justin Johnson, is wanted by uh, Tennessee, the FBI. And the last news that we heard was that he was actually due to turn himself in today, but we haven't got any new news of that well check this out man because what you guys didn't know was that if you did maybe you did but that he was actually an inspiring rapper himself you know the last time we talked we kind of left it off in the story of him being wanted we didn't really get into exactly who he was a lot of you guys you know throw a little, little bit of shade at him because you was saying i was i'm um, treating him like he was guilty never that i mean me i always always you know, remain objective. I had a little bit more bass in my voice because I think I see what it is in my opinion, but I'm not going to put that out there right now. I'm just going to give you the facts of the matter and then you guys can put it together like you guys always do. So, all right, so we got Justin Johnson. He's the man that, um, who's being accused of murdering young Dolph, you know, in front of um, or inside of Makiba's cookie store out there in Memphis. Well, like I said, he was an inspiring rapper. And he actually released a video why he's on the run. The video came out today. It's called Track Hawk. And there's a few pictures from the video. Now, you know, honestly, I'm not going to give my opinion on the actual video because I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone um, that may be involved with the victims in this case. So I'm just going to remain, you know, neutral on that. But, you know, obviously the video is called Track Hawk. And. A lot of people, man, when you go to the comments of the video, they're saying like, yo, how could you have the audacity, the audacity to actually put a video up like this when you're being accused? Now, again, Justin pretty much is maintaining. He he put a message up the other day pretty much saying he's going to be out sooner than you know. He's maintaining that he is innocent. He put turning myself in Monday uh, I'll be I'm innocent. I'll be back sooner than you can blink. So he's saying he didn't do it. The police want to try him for the murder. You can believe whatever side you want to believe. I always want to give people the benefit of the doubt in a situation like this, because there's a possibility that this could that he didn't do it. I'm going to keep it real with you. Right. But there's also a possibility that he did. So let's just kind of deal with it right there in the middle and I see it again. I'm not saying that he's guilty at all, but if I were to go with the narrative, if we were all to go with the narrative, and we were all to go to go with what we feel, you know, and I'm gonna go with what I feel, I think I see what this is. And I do agree with those comments if he indeed did it, right? If we're going with that whole theory that he did do it, and he hasn't been, you know, convicted or tried yet, so we got to give him the benefit of the doubt. But if he did, I'll give you both sides, right? You can see what this is clear as day. All right, now he's using the opportunity to promote his video, which is kind of strange, I guess, because it, it, to me it's it's a little sinister. Because it's like, all right, if you was really in this type of trouble, right? If you was really innocent. What what would be on your mind? Would it be really on your mind to really promote a video? Now, some people may say, oh, it's genius marketing. But for me, I don't know. Maybe I'm just different. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get my lawyer together, you know, get make sure my fund is in order, things like that. Hopefully, I can get a bell and things like that. The last thing I'm going to be doing is putting out a music video. Now, we don't know if it was recorded. Probably not. Odds on it wasn't recorded, you know, why he's on a run. But the video is out nevertheless and all you gotta do is go to the comments of the videos people are pissed people are giving this dude death threats people are you know um saying how could you have the audacity but that's just if you know we're taking the side of okay people think that you know he's the one who actually did it but 
it, it lines up. It lines up to me, right? It lines up to me. All the ducks go in a row to what I kind of think personally. I'm not going to give it to you guys because I don't, you know, um, I don't think it's wise to do that right now. At one some point in time, I will give it to you. So let's go on to the other end, right? And let's just deal with this thing face value. Like, man, like, did we, oh, did we come to the point in life that where are people are willing to actually take another person's life to get what they call clout, to get fame, to get notoriety? Is that where we're at in hip hop? And then when I look at it, I'm like, this is where hip hop is. Not for all, but for some artists, this is what they do. Let's go back and look at rappers, you know, that, that brag about doing stuff and killing people and selling drugs. Some of them actually done it before they came in a rap. So this is no different what he's doing than I'm probably about 50 to 60 or even more other rappers do on a regular basis the only difference is we don't know the person it ain't young Dolph it's somebody else so it's not really you know surprising but I do look at it like damn like it's just the length that people are going to right now you know just to be to put themselves in a position to succeed is it now let's go to the other and say you know maybe he's innocent he didn't do it they got the wrong person he was a rapper he's like all right forget it you know what I got some hot music. I'm going to put it out. You know what I mean? I'm also put it out now where everybody's typing my name in. I can get on with this because I'm planning on getting out anyway because I ain't do it. So in the next, you know, whenever, year, year and a half, my name is hot because, you know, I ain't do it. It could be it could be a lot of different things, but um, it's a lot of stuff going on, uh, uh, rumors out there. I'm not going to get into those about this whole case, but either way. Even if you were just a totally, totally objective, it, it just seems like it's very, very spooky and very, very sinister for this young man to put this out right now at this particular time with what's going on, you know. Um, and I will say out of respect, but it ain't even out. People don't respect anymore. It, that That's out of the window. Like, it's total disrespect. It's total disrespect people even after, you know, they pass away. But the other, other aspect I want to cover about this is that this this is something that i mentioned earlier that you see you know people in the comment sections threatening this dude so what this does is now you throw fuel on the fire and you put an even bigger target on your back because now people want to take you out now it's like he's like all right you like forget it i'm gonna do it but now you got the other side it's like you know what we got to get this dude he pissed me off. He, you know, ignited this fire in me for having the audacity to put this video out with my idol, my man, my home, my family. Anybody was just murdered in cold blood in his home city. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I want to hear what you guys got to say about this whole situation. Um, again, I want to give the individual, like I always say, the benefit of the doubt. Now, my opinion could be in the back like, yo, I do, you know. I could think he did it. I could think he didn't do it. But I'm not going to share that opinion right now. I'm going to let this thing play out. But if my suspicions serve me correct, and I think this is what I think this is, this is some. This is scary, man. This is scary. This is sinister. And um, whew, I'm going to digress, man. Leave a comment. What do you guys think? Go ahead and fire them comments away, man. I want to hear what you guys think. Also, make sure you guys, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Share the video. And, you know, not most importantly, but, you know, important as well is make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored for more exclusive just like this. And at the beginning of the video, I mentioned about the advertisement right now. If you want to advertise on the community tab or if you want to advertise on the first 10 or 30 seconds before each video that I do here on Hip Hop News Uncensored, the web, the uh, email is that you should hit up right now is advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Over and out. Peace.